We are now in the eastern part of Bohemia, in Hradec Králové. In close vicinity of the city, there is a natural monument called Naplachtje. Exmoor ponies help to maintain the natural forest-free habitat suitable for rare species. In many ways, they resemble the now extinct wild horses that once played this role throughout Europe. After a long winter hibernation, a grass snake comes out close to grazing ponies. The most common snake in the country tries to slip unnoticed around hairy giants. Will it succeed? It will not. Ponies are curious, and the snake preventively plays dead. It is a defense strategy called thanatosis. Grass snake opens its mouth and shows its tongue. It also coils into a ball and rolls its belly up. To make it look more real, it also releases a very stinking secretion from the cloaca which deters most predators. But there is no danger coming from ponies. Soon they lose their attention. The snake comes to life and quickly disappears from the scene. Only a few hundred meters away, another snake is crawling. It is the European adder. It differs from other Czech snake species by a dark zigzag line on the back. In this individual, the black line contrasts nicely with the light grey body. This coloration is typical for males. Females have a brown background coloration. The colour of snakes changes after they shed their skin. When the snake is just before shedding, the colours are not very bright. On the contrary, the freshly shed adder has a beautiful, vivid colour. Snake skin does not grow with the body, but becomes small several times per year. The solution is shedding. Snakes start from the head, where they tear all skin by rubbing against the surrounding objects. They even shed the transparent ocular scale that covers their eyes. Thus, snakes never blink, as they have fused eyelids. The skin turns upside down, and the adder leaves it behind. Usually, snakes manage to shed their skin in one piece, but not always. It depends on the humidity and a suitable substrate. When snakes are on the move, you can come across them almost anywhere. Even on a tree, the Esculapian snake is good at climbing, but it is much more common to see it on the ground, in grass or in stony walls. Finally, another snake appears on the horizon. 
Is that a female willing to mate? Not yet. This is a rival that must be defeated first. If two similarly sized males meet and there are females in the vicinity, a ritualized combat happens. The males wrap around each other, push each other, and try to press the rival's head to the ground. In Escalapian snakes, the fights tend to be calm, rather slow, and look very elegant, almost like a dance. Therefore, they are often mistaken for mating. If the fight lasts a long time, and both males are similarly strong, they might rarely resort to biting. The winner of the fight follows the scent trail of the female. He soon finds her in a stone wall, where the mating itself often takes place. And sometimes there is unwanted company. Another snake pair has more peace in the oak forest. The female does not cooperate at first and tries to crawl away but the male holds her firmly with his jaws and touches her with his whole body. At the same time, he tries to start mating with her. Snakes have the same opening for excretion and reproduction, which is called the cloaca. During mating, the male pushes out both of his hemipenes, but he uses only one of them to mate with the female. The whole act lasts from 10 to 45 minutes, and then each snake goes its own way. Snakes have successfully inhabited many places in the immediate vicinity of people, even in big cities. The surroundings of the Dam in Brno, the second biggest city of the Czech Republic, are a popular destination for tourists, cyclists, and families with children. But a stable population of dye snakes settled under the dam on the Svratka River. In 
instead of classically reinforcing the banks with concrete, gabions were used here thanks to conservationists. This preserves the spaces between stones. Snakes use these crevices as shelters, places for laying eggs and hibernation. They can also bask comfortably on the surface. Dice snakes are hungry after a long hibernation and the low water level gives them hope for easy hunting. These water snakes eat almost exclusively fish when they are adults. This species hunts underwater, and it can stay under the surface for up to 15 minutes. But catching a slippery fish is not easy at all. When the hunter succeeds, the fish fights and tries to free itself from the deadly grip. The snake quickly pulls its prey ashore, where the fish has a clear disadvantage. But even here, the snake has not won yet. Strong perches often escape. But sometimes the hunter has more luck than brains. This time, the fish literally jumps back into the snake's mouth. There is nothing to wait for. Only the swallowed fish will not run away. Many people do not know that dye snakes have a diverinoise gland, a primitive venom gland that produces a neurotoxin that paralyzes fish. This venom is completely harmless to humans. Dye snakes often begin to eat before the fish stops moving. They are vulnerable during feeding and want to have everything finished quickly. In the Czech Republic, the European adder lives mainly in the mountains, where it prefers moist meadows, boglands, heaths and grassy slopes, where it can bask. Adders also like to stay around mountain cottages, where they find suitable shelters and often enough rodents to hunt. But there is no need to be afraid of them. Appropriate prevention of the encounters with adders is to keep the surroundings of the cottage tidy and mow the grass often so it stays short. A bite from an adder can be unpleasant, but no fatalities have been reported in the last 20 years. If you come across an adder, it's a good idea to keep your distance. But if you accidentally get bitten, it's better to go to the hospital immediately. People meet adders most often in the summer, when tourists come to the mountains. However, such an encounter ends much more often in the death of a snake than in any danger for humans. The biggest threat for adders are clashes with cars and cyclists on the roads. In the mountains, it is also possible to come across a black-coloured adder. It is not a different species, 
but only a relatively rare melanistic coloration of the European adder. No zigzag line is visible on the back of these individuals, and people often have no idea that it is an adder. Melanism probably evolved as an adaptation to the mountain environment, where the black color absorbs the heat from the sun more easily. Black coloration often manifests itself with increasing age, and some adders, which are as black as coal in adulthood, are born with a classic color. But some individuals are already born black. Melanism occurs in both females and males. The smooth snake is also often synanthropic, which means that it lives close to humans. Thanks to the secretive way of life, the owners of the land do not even notice that they have a snake in the garden. And when they come across a smooth snake, they often confuse it with adder and are unnecessarily afraid of it. This species is completely harmless and can be easily distinguished from the adder by a typical horseshoe-shaped dark spot on the head. The pattern on the back is also different. A circular pupil, which is vertical in the European adder, can also help. In addition, these two species usually do not occur in the same localities, while the smooth snake prefers warm, sunny habitats at lower altitudes, adders thrive mostly in the mountains. It is quite rare to observe smooth snakes interacting with each other. While exploring the stone wall, a medium-sized smooth snake came across a similarly large individual of the same species hidden in a crevice. It shows interest and sniffs the other snake with its tongue. The second snake responds by waving its tail and going deeper into shelter. The encounter ends relatively quickly and both snakes continue on their way.